We're tracking developing news tonight. Four people dead, several fires, and lots of unanswered questions about a possible crime spree stretching from Finley to West Richland. That tops our newscast. I'm Alyssa Warner. I'm Jason Valentine. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. So investigators believe crimes overnight in Finley, Kennewick, Prosser, and West Richland are all connected to the same person who died in a shootout with police earlier this morning. Let's begin in Finley. Police got a call about a break-in where a man had been shot and two houses set on fire and a vehicle stolen. This on Finley Road near Two Rivers Park around 4 o'clock this morning. Within an hour, people started calling 911 about fires in Kennewick. Now, it looks like in addition to those fires in Kennewick, someone drove along State Route 397, starting fires from Nine Mile Canyon Road to Olympia Street. Firefighters are investigating eight fires along that four-mile stretch of road and two more suspicious fires in Prosser, plus even more around Badger Road. Investigators still trying to track exactly where this driver went and what happened along the way. Now, what we do know is within three hours of that first fire in Finley, a man ended up sh in a shootout with police in West Richland. Cap KV's Ellie Nakamoto-White joins us live where it all ended. Ellie. Alyssa, I'm on West Van Giesen Street in West Richland where the shootout happened this morning. Now it is still an active scene and if I step out of the way, you can see the suspect's vehicle is now placed on a tow truck. There are officers also checking out the crime scene where the truck was and you can see cones and crime scene tape that are still blocking off the road. Now officials tell us they spotted the suspect's truck driving into West Richland with flames coming out and when the truck stopped is when officers heard multiple gunshots coming from inside. After the vehicle came to a stop, several rounds were fired from inside of the vehicle. At that time, four local police officers, one from the West Richland Police Department, one from the Pasco Police Department, and two from the Bend County Sheriff's Office, fired their duty weapons into the vehicle in an effort to stop the threat posed by the suspect and sole occupant of the vehicle. Benton County Fire District officials did extinguish the flames, but by then the person inside the vehicle had died. Now police still haven't been able to confirm the age or the gender of the suspect, and they are also investigating two dead bodies found on Gum Street in Kennewick that may be related to what happened earlier. Now we have been following this story all day, and we will have the latest coming up in just a bit on 630. Live in West Richland, Ellie Nakamoto-White, Cap KVU, Local News. Thank you so much, Ellie. And you'll find out what happened in the multiple investigations going on right now on our website, yaktrynews.com.